Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get a nice firm head shape. It's just a quick video uh, with a few tips that should help you to get it right because what you have to make sure is the head really does need to be the firmest part of the body because you're going to be pushing into it to add details and if it's really soft and squidgy, I haven't got anything soft and squidgy here, but if it's really soft and squidgy you're just going to, the wool's just going to end up all misshapen, the features are going to look odd um, and all your hard work is going to be for naught because the finishing touches are what really brings your little characters to life. So. Here we go. So you can, you'll have your own ways of doing things. These are just some tips and hints that I've picked up along the way. So this is a, a sheep's head, which is what you make the Herdwick uh, needle felting kit um, with. That's what you would you'd be making. This is a, a sort of start of a hare's head, which is more of an egg shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off and make a, a circle shape, a really firm circle shape, because we can create that egg shape as we go along. So forget the egg shape, just think circle. So what I'm going to do is, this is um, white face woodland. I love this wool. It's a little bit coarser than Shetland. So it felt, you know, Shetland, I love Shetland, felt beautifully, that's Shetland. Um, but white face woodland again, just as good. Slightly coarser, felt really well, a little bit more forgiving. Again, Shetland I use all the time. What I would suggest you do is, what people find hard is, I get them in my classes, it's okay because I can watch everyone, but you've got to roll up that head and you have got to keep it firm. Because if you let that happen and then start rolling up, it's just not going to work and um, you're going to spend it an age felting and it's just not going to end up the right shape. You're going to end up trying to cover lines and dimples. So that's not the way we're going to do it. Today, well, I'll show you this way and if I've got time I'll show you the other way. I'm going to tie a knot in the middle. In fact I'm going to tie two knots. So you just take your length of wool, probably too much here but we can pull bits off as we go along and you just tie a knot in the middle and pull it tight and then do another one. If you're doing a really big head, you know, massive, like life size, you do a few of these. Okay. So then you've got that kind of thing going on, you've got two long tails there. So leave one tail out to the side and then roll round the other tail around the knot quite tightly. And then if I can find my needle I was using, probably not the right one. Oh yeah, that do. Can you hear that sound? That is because it's already firm in the middle. So you've already got that going before you've even picked up your needle. And then roll it round a little bit more. Just use the foam. That's what's in the kits, so I do like to show you on the foam. Right, and just hold it, pull that tight and roll it round. And stop there and just pull that gently away. And keep rolling round. Move that needle all the time. So you've gone in one direction with that tail length of wool to start with. You've wrapped it around that knot. So if you're doing a hair or, or a fox or, or something like that, then you'd be going for that kind of egg shape and that would be fine. But we, like again, we can create that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a round shape. And this can also be used if you do if you're doing round if you're doing bodies, round bodies, say for hedgehogs, that kind of thing, sheep. Sheep's bodies, the the um, the body that's underneath all the, the curly wool on top. Uh, this is also a great way to do it. So we've got this now. So we've got a nice firm piece here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the wool that's loose and we're going to wrap it around the other way. 
just to about there. Still with a little bit hanging over and you push that in so it's still quite firm. I've got some loose bits here but just use your needle to pull those in gently. And at this side as well. Okay so it's still looking quite scruffy but just go into this side Remember, needle felting takes time. It's not just going to happen in five minutes. But it also is one of the quickest crafts that I'm aware of, just because of the nature of how it's made. And wool just loves to be sculpted into shape. Right, so I've still got a little bit there. So I'm just going to pull that round again. And this time I'm just going to go over the top of it. So it's kind of changing direction again with that that wool that we've got left, turning and changing direction. There we go. So you can see what's happening there. I'm going to go around with all these loose bits and do you see how firm that is? Really firm. And you've done most of that with your hands. Watch those fingers as you're going around. And again, don't worry if there's any lines or seams, we can pop a quick layer of wool on top once the head shape's finished, just to cover up anything we're not happy with. Also remember if you're adding ears and if it's a sheep, you're adding curly wool on the head, a lot of it's going to be covered up. So really, um, it's, the, it's the nose area that needs to be the tidiest and the firmest. So you can see that there's quite a few lines and dimples and things in it but that's okay so then what we're going to do is again we're going to use our hands put it in our hands and we're going to just roll it really quite firmly as if you were I don't know like a bread roll. So if you were making bread and you were rolling a bread roll and you were playing with the play-doh with the kids and you're making play-doh balls then this is what you would do and you see how that's created a nice round shape and then we can just go about any loose bits just go around again I mean that's only taken eight minutes to get that done and look how firm it is. So if you wanted, we've got quite a good round shape there now, if you wanted to make that into more of an egg shape so you've got a, an, a, a narrowing of the, of the nose um, so the head's wider at the back then just put it in your hands and just roll backwards and forwards and you can see how we've lengthened that. Now this bit here is quite firm, so I would have that as the nose area. So I would continue to felt that and this time I would start going in diagonally but keeping that needle straight because that reduces the needle marks. And just keep working that round the side. Sometimes you start doing this and this will end up as the back of the head. It just depends how the wool felt, how much is in there. Turn it around the other way. Keep felting. I should have wiped my foam pad first because I've got some grey from the previous video still on there, but it doesn't matter. You hear how firm that is now? That's the needle actually going into the wool, and that tells you. It tells you how. Where are we? Here. It tells you how. You can see how firm that is. And look at that, you've got a lovely shape there now. And then what you can do, a bit bigger than the shape here, but that's what you're aiming for. And then what you can do is if you've got any unsightly lines and seams, then all you need to do is just lay out 
a thin layer of the same colour wool and then just roll it round, tuck it in as you come round because you're hardly going to felt this and that immediately covers up those unsightly areas and what you can do is you can actually tease the wool to the bottom so this would be the underside of the head so this would be where it would attach to the body and you see it's not perfect underneath but it doesn't need to be because whether it's your hair or your sheep it's going to be sitting on top of a body anyway so you're not even going to see that this is rather big sheep's head I think I'd have to do it yeah remember to keep your head in proportion to your body everything in in the um if you use the kits I tell you what to use anyway it's all weighed out for you and there's a little bit extra in there for um practicing with as well um in the instructions it will tell you um How much to to actually use roughly but remember that the golden rule start with less than you need and then you can always add some more and they say it reduces down to ooh, by about a third of what you originally started with but it all depends on how firm you're felting probably a little bit more than that when you're doing a head probably about right when you're doing the body and there you have it, a nice firm shape, roll again, ready for you to add some cute little features to. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, come back again, see what else is going on and if you're enjoying them give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified whenever there's a new video out. Thanks for watching. Bye.